Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mac Greer Music Channel. Uh, today I thought it'd be kind of fun to check in, see where I'm at with this guy, the Electron Modest Model Cycles. I've had it in the studio for a few months now and I've gotten a chance to really get to know it. Uh, so, you know, I thought it might be nice to see, you know, a few months in, how, how are we still liking it? Kind of talk about pluses and minuses and uh, maybe inform your decision if you're thinking about picking one up. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, so the Electron Model Cycles, um, this is probably the, I think it's the newest uh, actual hardware music making product from Electron that's come out. Um, it is an FM based synthesizer, as you probably know. Uh, so it's, it's a new product, but it seems to borrow from concepts um, that they've had in pr previous products. So not only the sequencer and that kind of thing, but like the general FM synthesis kind of thing. And since I also have the, um, I guess the predecessors that would inform this, uh, I thought it might be nice to kind of do some comparisons, uh, talk about pluses and minuses, that kind of thing. So uh, I think the most obvious comparison of this device uh, is, is to the Electron Digitone, which is their FM uh, four synth engine groove box. Um, Awesome product, sounds really, really good. Uh, definitely takes the things that are available here and, and definitely expands on that quite a bit. But you can see that this certainly borrows some of the same mindset. Now, that being said, I will say that in my opinion, they have very different tones. Um, the uh, the Digitone is very bright. Um, it's very crisp, it's very sharp. It has these really wonderful effects. Um, it also has some filters and things on it, but uh, the Digitone sounds just really, really pristine to me, um, which is a great thing. And it's certainly like what FM synthesis is known for. This though has its own kind of dirtier, crunchier, kind of raw sound. And it's, it's really good for percussive stuff. I've noticed it's got kicks on it that are just mean, like trap kicks and 808 kind of bass stuff. This thing, it just delivers on that in spades, but then it's got all this really metallic like chimes and, and hi hats and really interesting sounding snares. Um, some percussive sounds, I think it, it lacks some on, like it seems very difficult to get a, a nice clap out of it. I think because claps are usually more PCM and sample based on most drum machines. So it struggles a little bit of that. Um, also, you have, you know, a limited amount of controls over the synth sounds themselves. Um, some of these are kind of macro controls where they combine numerous FM concepts into one. So there's only so much sculpting you can do with it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's... It's a good machine. So, yeah, the other comparison that I would draw to it is to the uh, kind of the granddaddy of Electron Groove Boxes, and that's the Mono Machine. Uh, now, this is not entirely FM based, but um, I would say that that was one of its strongest synth engines, is the FM synth engine that's used in this one. Um, and you can definitely like see that some of this guy's DNA got put into this one. Um, so it's cool, I think, that Electron continues to expand and do new discoveries in their FM synthesis world in particular. So yeah, um, how am I still liking it? Well, when I first got it in the studio, I, I admit I could not take my hands off of it. Um, I just found it very, very inspiring. I uh, found it to have quite a lot of range. Um, like I said, a lot of the sounds and presets seem to be focused on kind of a harder edge, but um, I purposely tried to go in and just do really mellow and ambient things and found that it's more than capable of that. Um, yeah, so if, if you're thinking of getting an FM synth or dipping your toes in the Electron waters, I would say this is an excellent entry point. Uh, it's very affordable. Uh, you certainly get the main functions and features that Electron is known for, like they're a killer sequencer, um, all of that kinds of stuff. It's, it's lightweight, it's, it's nicely made, um, and it's, it's simple and intuitive enough that I think newcomers would be able to pick this up pretty easily and start making some pretty cool grooves on it. I mean, it, it sounds good, it's fun to use, it's portable. There's quite a lot going on here that, um, that to like, really. Um, uh, just my impressions, having had this for a few months, um, kind of where I'm at, I, I'm still using it, I still enjoy it. Maybe not as much as initially, um, but yeah, I still, it just, it's attractive to me. It, it wants me to play it, so I do. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, what I have to say on the uh, the model cycles. So thanks for watching. Uh, what we're gonna do next is I've got a jam uh, that you know just something I did the other day on this because I'm a ch channel about music and I can't make a video that doesn't have music. So we're gonna put that there on the end. Uh, before I do that, uh, I've got a couple announcements here. Uh, first off, I've got a new album coming out uh, on the 18th of September, so that's a week from the day I'm filming this. Um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, it is an album made entirely on hardware, made entirely on samplers. Uh, most most of the tracks were made on my Roland SB404, but uh, <clears throat> I also used this guy. Uh, I used... Um, SP-606, SP-303, lots of Roland SPs. Um, I used the little mini pocket operator sampler, uh, the KO, and I used um, the OPZ on one track, which is, well, it's a sampler too. I mean, it's not really what it's known for, but it can sample as well, and there's it's using samples. If you guys ever do want to support me on this channel, um, I don't do Patreon, I don't put ads on here, I don't, I don't look for people to give me money. Um, without something in return, but if you do want to support me um, picking up one of my albums, uh, in particular on Bandcamp, because I think it's the most equitable for artists, uh, is really, really appreciated. And, and to those of you out there who have done that before, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate the support. Okay, guys, well, let's hear some music, and uh, if you have any questions, as always, put them in the comments. Tell me things that you want to see, and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>